imagination abounds when it comes to fans and crossovers with other fan franchises. But most of those crossovers remain in our imaginations. But what about those crazy crossovers that did in fact occur? Well today, we take a look at one of them. Hello and welcome to Truth or Myth, a Star Trek web series that looks at the truth, or canon information, to dispel any of the myths that have surfaced on any given topic. In today's episode, we're taking a look at another one of those crazy crossovers. The Boole and Babbage crossover. I hope you enjoy. A year ago, in episode 39 of Truth or Myth, I reviewed the horrible Star Trek The Next Generation and sitcom Webster crossover. Even though I hated the crossover, it was a part of Star Trek history, and I enjoyed reviewing it making myself a promise that if I ever ran across something similar again, I'd make another review video. Well, guess what? While organizing my old Star Trek archives, I did in fact find another interesting crossover that I thought you all might be interested in seeing. So here it is. Without further ado, the Star Trek The Next Generation Bool and Babbage crossover. The quality isn't the best, but I hope you enjoy. Somebody get those phones, now! We're doing everything we can. I, I understand. I'm sorry. Look, can you hold for a minute? Hello? No, no, no. No, Harold isn't here. Commander Riker of the USS Enterprise. I'll tell him. This is operations. Yes, I know. Reservations just went down. We've got everyone on it. Well, same to you, fella. Hello? I'm sorry to keep you... Yes. Yes, I do believe you're Commander Riker. Look, Commander, we have an emergency here. I'll have Harold get back to you. This is operations. That's it. Broadcast this message across all terminals. Flight reservations down. We'll be up as soon as possible. Uh, switch phones to record it with that same message until we solve this. Switching all phones. Elaine, have you heard from Dallas? Yep. I mean, communication said they can handle our bookings for an hour. If they can't, I know three other airlines that'll be very happy. They said they'd be online in 15 minutes. Uh, I, I just talked to FlyFo. They aren't receiving anything either. Flight information is down? Yeah. What the heck is going on? We're losing $50,000 a minute. What happened to backup? And what about the early warning system? I don't believe this. Reservations is down. Nobody can tell when their outroader's plane will be in, and I got Star Trek on my monitor. No, Harold, it's not Star Trek, the next generation. It's the next generation of information systems management. Barney? Barney, did you guys do this? This is great! No, Harold, it's not Barney. It's Commander Riker from the Federation Starship Enterprise. You didn't return my call, and you appear to need help. Help? I have three major markets with no way to check flight availability. I got zero flight status information in L.A. Just a potential million in losses, not to mention losing my job. Harold, you have vision. Your company needs people like you. That's why only you are able to see me. No, 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 no one else can see you? They lack vision, Harold. Now I need to recreate your enterprise on board my enterprise. Tell me your systems and your capabilities. I think I can help. Elaine, are you getting through to Dallas? No, Mr. Bohr, but you are getting through to me. Now, please, if, if you'll just give me a few minutes, I'll have a report for you. Harold! Is the data transfer complete? I have your entire enterprise information system cloned. Now, let's get to work. All the data required to solve your problem exists somewhere in your system, Harold. However, you have no way to consolidate that data into meaningful information. Once the data is consolidated, the problem becomes easy to find and solve and even automate so it won't be a problem next time. Allow me to demonstrate. Computer, activate screen. The enterprise automation system I'm using shows that you've lost your optical fiber connection to the reservation system. Recommendation, 
Reroute through Cleveland. You have the technology to locate the problem that fast? Yes, and you can access it today, Harold, through the advanced technology of Main View. Your enterprise can be totally automated. You can spot the trouble you're likely to encounter before it becomes trouble. You can monitor your entire enterprise from a single point of control. Now, look here. Bull and Babbage's enterprise automation not only consolidates the management of your enterprise into a single point of control, but can provide you with an automatic solution. Uh, automation sounds great, but won't I lose control of my enterprise? No, you are still in command. You initiate procedures to solve your problem even before your end users realize a problem exists. You decide what to automate. In fact, if you were using this technology today, the connections would have been rerouted and you wouldn't have lost a quarter million dollars worth of business. Thanks, number one. Wow. So when you give the reroute command, our res lines will come back up and flight information will resume. Yes, Harold, I could do that, but I won't. Your company's solution needs to come from a person with vision. Me? I, I can do that? You must do that. I can't alter history, but you can alter the future. <sighs> Reroute through Cleveland. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, this is Harold. Do it now, please. Doing more with less will be your constant challenge in the coming years. The answer, enterprise automation, is here today. Thank you, Commander. You've been very helpful. Just one more thing. I've had this fantasy that, do you think for just one minute, I mean, I could? Harold, you did it. We're back on. That boy's got vision. He's a little strange, but he's got vision. Nice job, Harold. Warp 9, engage. Wow. Uh, does the uh, Enterprise have driver's side airbags? Bool and Babbage was founded in 1967 as K&K &K Associates. Shortly thereafter, the company changed its name to Bool & Babbage and became the first software company in Silicon Valley to receive venture capital funding. Their main products were computer mainframe monitoring packages, which was the first software that allowed their customers to track their employees' activities, including the hours that they worked. The company had a million dollars in sale in the first year. However, the company's large expenses outstripped its profits. As a result, Bool and Babbage almost went bankrupt when their products became obsolete due to upgrades and IBM hardware. But in the 1980s, Bool and Babbage developed a new software and went public with it. In 1984, IBM changed its operating systems, making almost all of Bool and Babbage's products obsolete. The company then created the Command Post for Client server systems in 1990, and that soon became their main product. As part of their marketing strategy, they decided to make the advertisement you just saw, and use Star Trek The Next Generation to promote this, what they viewed as fantastic new product, and it kind of makes sense. Star Trek has always looked advanced for its time, and TNG was the most advanced Star Trek show with the most advanced imaginary computer system. So it was fitting, and really a brilliant decision to use Star Trek to advertise their product. Unfortunately, Bull and Babbage didn't last too much longer after this advertisement. In the late 1990s, the computer industry started to become dominated by the much larger companies, and Bull and Babbage were having trouble competing with those companies. As a result, in 1998, as part of a series of takeovers, BMC Software bought Bool & Babbage in what was known as a stock swap. I always love little tidbits of Star Trek history like this one. It's interesting to watch and to think about how much Star Trek has actually influenced not only myself and other fans, but the commercial industry in general. Even if you don't like advertisements like this one, you have to admit how important Star Trek as a franchise's effects have been on the world. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get some Star Trek Discovery crazy commercial to add to Star Trek history. 
and only Tribbles has the taste kids love. Yeah, so great! It tickles! Thank you for watching today's episode of Truth or Myth. What did you think of this crazy crossover? Do you have any crazy crossovers you want me to review or show the world like I did with this one? Well, leave your comments in the section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, hitting that little bell icon so you won't miss a single video we release. Want to help the channel cross itself over with TNG? Well then consider becoming a channel patron. The link to our Patreon account is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, live long and prosper.